Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another week in Red Dead Online. This week, the Owlhood family is out in the wild and it's this week's legendary bounty. So, if you want to have a little bit of a challenge, then there's definitely one for you. Reason being is just because you have to capture a total of four targets compared to the usual one that we did in the previous two weeks. It's definitely one of the more challenging ones, especially if you are a solo player, because you have two options here. Either you just decide to deliver them one by one, or you can use your bounty hunter wagon if you have unlocked it at rank 10 and also have the money for it really personally i didn't really think of this and i was just using my regular horse and just doing it that way because at the time of recording i forgot to still buy my bounty hunting wagon because i basically been running around the posse all the time i was doing a bounty hunter mission but having said that though if you have a couple of friends that you can help you out with this one definitely worth doing especially if you can then decide to do the other guys one as well it should net you with some pretty nice profit if you do decide to to do this one solo though and you don't have a bounty hunter wagon like myself it's gonna take you a little while to do it but to my surprise i did get 84 dollars for doing it and about 800 bounty hunter xp but this seems to be very different for everyone so don't hold me on to that one outside of this week is a brand new collector free roam event which is called condor egg which i would love to show you gameplay of but like with every other free roam event you just have to get lucky that you get the invite to it so make sure to keep an eye on the condor egg free mode event if you are rank 4 or above with your collector in addition to that, there's also the Hunter Hatchet, which you can now get from the fence. It's $5, but you can also throw it, so that's the reason why it's $5. Do make sure to pick it up again, though, and don't be like me and torture that poor, poor fence man to test out your new weapon. If you're someone who has practiced enough with their hatchet and wants to try it out in Spoils of War in free aim, then you can do that in this week's featured free aim playlist. And if you're just in it for the money, don't worry because you can earn a nice $200 for simply doing any roll free roam event. Now, to save you a whole lot of trouble, I happen to stumble upon this very, very useful website which basically shows you which free roam event is happening at one in game time. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below so you can check it out for yourself. But simply do any of the roll free roam events this week and you'll be able to walk away with $200, a Fentus Poncho, and also 5 Tomahawks. In addition to that, there's also a little bonus for those who have enabled two-step verification on Social Club. If you haven't, then I really, really wonder why you haven't yet, because two-step verification is a lifesaver and you should use it. If you have decided to do that, or if you already have done it, then you will be getting 2000 club XP for your Outlaw Pass, which basically means you'll get two additional ranks, which is pretty sweet for doing something that you already should have done anyway. But that was it for this one, thank you all so very much for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all later.